From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Oh, that rain is so good. Unless you're a farmer or rancher and putting up some hay, and you don't want the hay to get wet. And Laura sent me this picture and said, we tried to squeeze that in today before the storms came, but I was watching the storms coming in. We we're just getting ready to rake it, and then we were going to bale it. You see some of the bales in the background, and we didn't get to that. We ended up with about a quarter inch of rain. So, again, you don't want any of that hay to get wet, especially for horses, because that gets moldy, and horses' do, tummies do not like mold, and that's not good. Cows can handle it better because they have four stomachs, and so it doesn't matter as much. But, again, there is some good and there is some bad, but some of the clouds were pretty impressive uh, with that, as we we're showing you the shelf clouds. And we ended up with some pretty good rains, again, up in Osage County and up to the north and west. Further south in East, you went, the uh, rain was pretty much limited to just spotty, heavier downpours where about a half inch of rain would fall. Many areas just picked up enough to settle the dust, but that could change big time over the course of the next week because we're going to see some interesting uh, rainfall uh, numbers coming up. Here's the latest rainfall from the last seven days. The panhandle has kind of slowed down a little bit. Southwest Oklahoma picked up a little bit just east of Durant, picking up some heavy rains. There's still spotty areas that need quite a bit of rainfall, and that one of those areas continues to be just to our northwest. Remember, Bartlesville is still on water rationing. And it's like a lot of us don't really realize that unless you live around Bartlesville, and then you're like, yeah, we realize that. But there is more rain uh, that has been falling in this uh, watershed area of Hula. And that's quite a bit of rain from Wichita back to the east, just to the north and north of Chautauqua County. And then uh, Copan still hasn't had that much. It's just enough that the rain soaked in, but it hasn't run off. Over the course of the next week, though, we're anticipating three to four, maybe five inches of rain in a few areas. That would be enough to get decent runoff, and that would be enough to get the lakes going again. So hopefully, with any luck at all, Bartlesville within a week or two might get rid of some of the water restrictions because we do have good rain chances across the northeastern half of the state. Not good if you have hay on the ground. Fantastic if you're trying to get rid of the water restrictions in Bartlesville. So we'll see how that plays out. But that's the plan as of right now. At this moment as well, severe weather is still hanging out with a boundary that's situated out into the West Texas area. And then that boundary, you can kind of see where it extends back down the Red River into southeast Oklahoma. Where the sun's been shining, it's been a hot day today, but we've had that rain-cooled air here. Our sprinkles and showers are pretty much ended. There's still a few lingering sprinkles around, but that's about it. But rain cooled air, oh my goodness, that has been awesome. Now, we're going to be watching for extra development. So we'll see if this happens from midnight to 2 o'clock in the morning. Severe weather breaking out in the northwest Oklahoma. That'll start to develop some showers and storms in our area around 4 o'clock. And then during the course of the morning hours, Alan, Stephen, and our storm trackers might get busy. And some of those storms could be strong, isolated, severe as they move through during the morning hours again. And then by noon, They'll start to taper down, and then we'll rebound in the afternoon back in the upper 70s, low 80s. This is July. Just wanted to remind you that, even though it doesn't look like it. And then as we look on into the for early Friday morning, here comes another system. So again, this is just kind of like a, a freeway of uh, big clusters of thunderstorms coming our direction. So on Friday, we'll have another round of showers and storms rolling across this area. And then those will move on through. And then by afternoon, we rebound a little bit more, upper 80s to around 90. So late afternoon and evenings don't look too bad. It's the early mornings that have the better chance of storms. Slight chance of severe weather, mainly northwest for tonight and tomorrow morning. Just a slight chance here. And then as we work our way on into Friday morning, a little bit better chance of stronger winds and then heavy rain and some small hail. Saturday will be in the 80s. Slight chance again of showers in the afternoon. Better chance would be Saturday morning. And then Sunday afternoon, not too bad, but Sunday morning chance of thunderstorms. So again, it's primarily the mornings that have the higher potential because the storms are developing on the high plains and then spreading south and east. So that's why we have chance of rain start to diminish as we get on into Monday. Then some hit and miss storms. Better chance maybe on Thursday of next week. Uh, but as the uh, chances of rain go down, the temperatures go up. So we will have to watch that as it starts to get hot. But so far, we have this north Northwest flow, that's what's making all the difference. All right, tonight at 9, pretty nice. Pretty awesome, really, for this time of year. It's not a steam bath out there. It will be a tad bit humid. Showers and thunderstorms uh, about 2 a.m. to 9 a.m. across the area. Some of those could be strong. Chance of a few isolated severe if you're northwest of Tulsa. And then uh, afternoon shower and thunderstorm chances are pretty much gone for a while. Back again with storms on Friday morning, Saturday morning, and maybe Sunday morning. So the odds are hanging in there. And then next week, sun comes out. And, whoa! Yeah, it gets hot again. Mid to upper 90s and probably heat index 120 or 150, maybe 200. Almost as hot wow. as Amarillo. Yeah. <laughs> it's always a little bit hotter out there, it seems like. I've lived there. You're right. <laughs>